Hey everybody, we want to welcome you back to our channel. Uh, it's Josh and Sue here, also known as JS Fikir. And the name of this segment in, on our channel is The First. So you want to tell them what The First stands for, Sue? Finances, intimacy, relationships, sex, time, but we also like... Transparency. <laughs> So today we got an interesting uh, story for you guys. We're going to talk to you about the proposal. You know, we've been talking about just different aspects to a relationship. We, last week we talked about the dating process. Yeah. Uh, we're still there. Uh, we're talking about now the proposal and then just events that's leading up to the wedding and then the happily ever after. We want to bring you on this journey just so that we can... Um, not only share with you our story, but also mm -hmm. so we can give you some tips and some ideas that you can implement yeah. and hopefully they'll be able to help you yes. on your journey, your process mm -hmm. to getting married or engaged. The proposal itself, you know, first of all, we've been married for 14 years now. Um, May of next year will make 15 years for us. Um, but so 14 years ago, I asked Sue Ann to marry me. And um, it was actually at her sister's baby shower. Shout out to my sister-in-law. You know, we, um, we talked about it, we planned it. And she wanted to share that her day to, you know, make this moment special and the reason why i think i told sue about it the reason why we chose that day is because we we were actually kind of fortunate enough to where our families got a chance to get to know each other before we even discussed getting married and so we were trying to find an event to where both families can be present at the event but it wouldn't seem suspicious so i, I don't think i've ever asked you when you we saw you know, when you when we went to your sister's baby shower and my family was there, my whole family, was that did that seem suspicious to you or just no? Um, you guys were there, so I, I don't know. I wasn't even thinking about anything. My I, my mind was like somewhere else. I, I wasn't stunting y'all. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So before we actually get into what transpired on that day, the day that I proposed to Sue, you know, we were I think we were date we were dating for. Uh, I think we started dating in 2004, officially, um, and it was in 2006 that we actually got married. So we were dating for two years. Um, now keep in mind, we were friends mm -hmm. since 1999. 99. We were for, for started quite dating in 2004. Four. Mm -hmm. Got engaged in 2006. No, five. Oh, sorry, 2005. Yes. And then got married 2006. Yeah. Sue's mom, you know, it kind of help is she started calling me her son-in-law from the beginning of our relationship. And so it was like, okay, so that kind of helped to grease the wheels <laughs> just a little bit. Um, and, but one thing we did do was that we had our parents meet each other. And that right thing for us was just, we didn't know what to expect. Yeah, I know. We went to this all-you-can-eat Chinese food buffet. We was, <laughs> we was over there killing it, man. We're killing it. Uh -huh. And I didn't eat much because I, my hands were just my palms were sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> so Joshua, um, Joshua's dad and my dad, they just think they're the biggest jokesters in the world. <laughs> you know, they were like two peas in a pod. Like, yeah. they, they were loving each other. They were cracking Joke. jokes and laughing mm -hmm. and cracking jokes mm -hmm. and laughing. Yeah. And then you, moms are moms, and moms want to see their their daughters get married. Mm -hmm. And their kids get married and stuff like so that. So they're talking about we, we, that. Exactly. I'm like, well, you guys are ahead of us. We did, We immediately hit it off, and we were only dating at this time, right? Yeah, we were only dating. Um, and and I think one one thing that's good to kind of keep in mind also is the fact that um, we didn't realize how much they were watching us. Um, at the at that dinner. They were talking. We didn't know what to expect. We were trying to brace ourselves for questions, and we didn't know what to expect. But they kept. They were talking to each other about the things they observed about our relationship, and so that was kind of cool to see. Um, and that they were, you know, the stuff they had to say was pretty pretty good feedback. Um, so that also did help too. So yeah. it was so tip tip number one would be have your parents meet while you're dating. Mm -hmm. If you plan to pursue a relationship, not just when you're about to get engaged or mm -hmm. when you're about to get married, if yeah. you can, have them meet before. Mm -hmm. This way you can kind of research the, the background, you can really 
get to know the person a little bit more in depth. Mm -hmm. And if there's anything out there, you know the cousins and the and the and the, the siblings are gonna expose these red <laughs> flags. So try to have them meet prior yeah. to. Yeah, so that was that was, that did help. Um, and we were able to see early on, you know, what we were getting into. Um, and then so after that, I would say, you know, we kind of almost that was almost like the the moment where we saw that we had their blessing. Yeah. Um, because it was almost like they were trying to marry, marry us all. Right there. I know. At the, <laughs> At the buffet, you know, you're going to have somebody come out the back end and, <laughs> and marry us. But a good sign. <laughs> that was a good sign. Uh, after that, we, you know, we were in school. And we were just kind of balancing everything. Being, in, we were working, we were in school, we were in our relationship, but we we did have conversations about marriage. That's another thing too. You know, sometimes you know, significant others don't know what each other's thoughts are when it comes to marriage. There's nothing wrong with bringing up the topic. I, I what do you think about that? No, that's that's absolutely right. Because if you don't talk about marriage, how do you know if the person? really wants to get married in the first place you yeah could, you could be with someone you want to be married and the other person is like married i'm trying to get married yeah I'm, i never want to get married you know and and that happens sometimes you get you get those surprises so it's just bring, just because you bring the topic up doesn't mean you're 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 forcing things or you're rushing things you just want to know what's your thoughts on this topic these are big topics and you know big moves in lives you, yeah. you talk you know you talk about kids you know you know have, did you consider having kids in your lifetime yeah. and and things like that i mean and we we actually had those conversations it was pretty comfortable conversations because we were this is part of getting to know each other and what's your views on certain things yeah i think we were so comfortable because we were friends for so long yeah, before right so it, you with you just meeting the person you just starting yeah, to date with true. them <laughs> you know date them for at least like a couple of months before you get into this those types of conversations See where things are going exactly yeah it's absolutely not like the first or second date you're like so how many kids you want <laughs> no it's when true you get now? that's true very that, true that can do very well deter someone yeah that may not not be ready at yeah. that point in time absolutely as we saw how things were progressing that's when I really you know it settled within my mind that Sue was the one people Wait, when did you realize that you wanted to marry me you know that's a good question because oftentimes people say how do you know if this is the one how do you know and I even asked a couple of people that too one thing another tip I'll give you guys real quick is that you know if you know that you guys want to get married surround yourself with married people you and you kind of get a preview of just you know what what things that you want and things that you don't want in your Disclaimer. relationship married people with healthy yes relationships. yeah with healthy relationships <laughs> and so we for us we surround ourselves with people who also had for our for us personally we wanted to we know we wanted God in our relationship and so we surrounded ourselves with people who can kind of guide us and say you know this is you know this is this is a kind of marriage that you know can will please God so that was something we did personally um, so I did ask some a couple of guys who were ahead of us and said you know how did you know and each one of them had the same answer. They say, you just know. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense. You got to give me, you what know, you mean? Fine, I need fine print. You know, how do you know? And they say, you just know. And it's so interesting, but that is the best way to put it. You know, for me, I'll say it like this. I looked at my life and I say, this is what my life would look like with Sue. And do I want my life to look anything else like, I mean, any other way. And for me, there was no other way I wanted my life to look. I could not imagine life without Sue. Maybe that can help somebody. Try to imagine. Can you imagine life without that person you're married, you're engaged to? You're married, married. So that's, uh, you know, that's, <laughs> you're past that point. But uh, I mean, but the person you are engaged to, the person you're dating, you know, as you guys grow closer, closer, they get that bond. And for me, I was like, I didn't want life any other way. That's how I knew. And so at that point, I said, well, I need to start having conversations. So I, I spoke to your parents. And, you know, I, I, I spoke to my parents, you know, I uh, spoke to some people who were close to me. You don't need to just talk to the whole world, you know, because some people didn't understand. We were only 21. Yeah, we were young. So. Yeah, we were only 21. And we were like the only one in our group 
that got married at the time we got married to, yeah. we were like the first. So yeah, the first in our in our group, in our cohort, in our in our circle. Um, so you know, we were able to we respected everyone's opinion. Some people was like, "You guys sure you're not rushing things?" Or you know, you guys are you know you know 21. You know, you still got to live life. And I'm like, "What's living life if you're not living it with the person you're meant to be with?" We knew after I called. Sue's parents, they already was ahead of me. My parents was already ahead of me. Um, and so that was kind of, that helped. And then so that's when I had to go ring shopping. And so this one here, I think I'm just, I think I'm just kind of like slick like that. I used to bring her, just because we were able to have open conversations about marriages, I would bring her to, you know, we're in the mall waiting for a movie to start and say, hey look, there's a, um, there's a jewelry store, let's go check it out. And she would try on rings, and she didn't even know I was taking notes. Did you know? Did you have any suspicion? No. I don't think about that stuff. I'm not like... <laughs> I wasn't like Goo Goo Gaga, like, I got to be married. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, remember, as a kid, I was like, I didn't even really want to yeah, be married. Yeah, she did say that's true. So, that's I true. mean, us going and trying, trying on rings, that doesn't indicate to me that you're going to ask me. I'm not yeah. going to get, like, excited about that. Yeah, okay. Okay. You know? So that was, that uh, made it easier for me. So, you know, not to, <laughs> <laughs> I made it, easy <laughs> it made it easier for, for me. So, um, and I, and then, so not to prolong the story. So I got the ring size. I did my due diligence. I got some opinions and I, next thing you know, I had the ring. We were going to come down for her sister's baby shower. And that's when I went and picked up the ring and I had to find a way to pack it because we drove down together so that, you know, it never, you know, it never made an appearance and we came down you know I probably had some secret meetings because you know they were still planning their baby shower with her family and, and what we were gonna do how we were gonna plan it and my parents knew my family knew her family knew and she's the only one who didn't know of course I didn't know anything y'all I was just like yeah we just did we a baby we shower were, we were on we were down we came down for the baby shower mm -hmm. and that's that's what my weekend consisted of coming down for, for the baby, baby shower to support her sister. And so the day comes, we're at the baby shower, and now we're trying to figure out how we're going to get her to leave. Like I said, I had no idea. And it was so interesting to me because the baby shower, was it on a Saturday or a Sunday? It was a Sunday, a Sunday before we drove up Monday morning. Okay, so it was on the Sunday, and my sister... She kept, she kept looking at me Saturday, and my sister she always be getting on me because you know I just I just don't care. I'm just I'm just one of the, the, those girls. I'm a tomboy. I throw my hair in one. I, I don't. I be like, okay, yeah. This is how this is what it is. That's you know. Mm. So she was like, why didn't you go get your hair done? Why don't you go do this? And I'm like. Why? It's not my baby shower. It's yours, right? So I know she. I know in her mind she wanted to say something. We get to there. We're hanging out at the baby shower, and now it's. it's and the thing about our families too. Once they know that uh, what's going to happen then they <laughs> they put pressure on you so the whole time i'm thinking about what am i going to do this i have to avoid eye contact with her family and my family because they're like you're going to do, do it now do it you're going to do it now do it, do it. Do it. i'm like we, we just sat down let me try to eat first <laughs> and the whole time i'm eating like I, can't even, time. I can't even look up because somebody's making eye contact you're going to do it now i'm like oh my god so we finally decided we we're going to do it and so this is what we did we were going to pray for the for Sue's sister, for the pregnancy and everything, and then pray over the food before we actually sat down and, and ate. And so we were gonna get into a circle and, and we decided we we're gonna do it during the prayer. And so we had to find a way to get her outside so we can let everyone else know what's about to happen. And so, what did so, it tell me? I'm so mad about this, y'all, because <laughs> first of all, this baby shower is happening, right? Yes. So my family we don't cater and all that stuff because we're jamaican we want curry goat oxtail mm -hmm. rice and peas we want all the good jamaican food mm -hmm. so you know who's doing the cooking the family's doing the cooking my father's doing all the cooking first of all i've been running back and forth to the store all weekend because <laughs> my parents don't make a list <laughs> they say 
go to the store for me and uh-huh. get this, this, and this, right? <laughs> While you're at the store, they're calling you and they're adding items to the list. Not only that, you would just come back from the store, unload everything, and say, you know what? I forgot the curry. <laughs> go to the store for me. <laughs> and I'm like, That's I've been running day. to the store and to BJ's all day preparing for this. So I'm already like overworked. So they're like, oh, oh, they have some water outside. In so the car. I'm in the car. So I get the keys and I'm walking out there. And there's people, people going with me. Like they're rolling with me to help me get the water, right? So I'm there and I'm getting the water out of the trunk of the car. I look around and everyone that was there is gone. <laughs> I'm like, and there's just there's actually water in the car. So I don't know. Purposely. If staged. They staged it. They staged it. And so I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yo, where everybody went? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting upset. I was, I was partially mad. So I grab as many like bags of water, that, and, and I'm, I'm like dragging them in from. And it's hot outside. I'm dragging it in from outside, and I'm just like, yeah. why y'all left me out there by myself? That's what she did. Right? That's what she yelled but, in the baby shower. But not only that, when I came in, I was upset because they looked like they was about to eat without me, and I was Bruce like, in the circle. I was like, there was already in the circle, and I was like, yo, hold up, I'm out there getting these waters, right? And y'all in here about to eat? <laughs> yeah, she, she came. Two strikes. She came in with an attitude like, and we we're trying not to laugh, but yeah. So the people who so-called escorted her outside to go help her. They stopped at the door, watched her, and then they came back. Okay, she's out there. She's out there. So, so everybody's getting up, and now people's like, "What's going on?" Only the family knows. So that's when I kind of said, "Okay, guys, you know, this is what's about to happen." Everybody's like, "Oh, oh!" And it was like, "Be quiet! It's just, you're gonna ruin the surprise," you know. And so we we got in a circle, and it said, "Okay, so I'm gonna pray for the food, and I'm gonna do it during in the middle of the prayer." Till now, you know, we're so we're planning it. I still don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it, but I know that this is the way we want to do it. And so we are in the circle, and she came inside. You know, we look like we're about to pray, and someone's coming down the hallway talking about, "Where's everybody at? Why y'all left me out there?" <laughs> and we, oh, that's me. That's you. And then so she came in, <laughs> so and we're bad. like, Shh, "We're gonna pray," you know. And so, like, well, excuse me. <laughs> so she gets in the circle. She's not even standing by me at this point because she's just getting. In where she fit in, and so we have was it's a bunch of us. We had that circle almost went. We had to spread the circle out just so everyone can hold hands. And um, so we're there, and we're we're about to pray. And so I'm I start to pray, and I start to pray for the food. And my voice is shaking, so I'm surprised that I didn't throw her off too. You know, because I'm just praying. And well, you know, the one thing that surprised me, you weren't the one that prayed for all the events at that time. Mm. So when they said that Joshua was going to bless the food, I was like, oh, okay. That must have started the trend. I was like, well, <laughs> Josh was praying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we pray, and I was praying. And I was saying, and I said something like, you know, and we thank you for time. We thank you for family. And, and then we also thank you for this opportunity for me to ask Sue to be my wife. And Sue then, Ann. Sue he Ann. said my whole Sue name. Ann. He said Sue Ann. <laughs> and she didn't. Latoya. <laughs> Sue Park. And, and I she was didn't like, even like, she didn't even like, I don't think, she wasn't even paying attention during the prayer. Because I don't think she even caught on to that. She didn't even flinch. She was probably still upset about the water. Because I, I said. Did. I, I did. Said, I, I did. Said, I did. You must not have seen I it. I said that she was like, she just kept, she was like listening for the, like she uh-huh. probably thinking about the food. You know how no. she is about food. <laughs> she probably thinking about the food. No. And, so no, I, no. I, I. Let me tell you what I, I always. Opened, I peeked. I like. <laughs> I like. What? I said, "What the heck?" <laughs> and I, I opened one eye and I kind of like, I kind of like <laughs> yeah. peeked like that, and then I closed it, and I was just like, "What is happening?" And I went. I broke the circle, and then everybody's like, <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh my goodness!" <laughs> so I broke they the circle. Yeah, and I broke the circle, and I went and grabbed Sue and pulled her in the middle of the circle, and then everyone is around us with their hands closed. And um, and right there in the middle of the prayer, I, I I think she was staring at me the whole time, um, and she like she couldn't believe it. And then I no, I, let me tell you, <laughs> I was like, first of all, what is he doing? <laughs> right? Okay, so here, if you wear glasses, right, when you come out of a hot space, like I came from outside, and you don't, come into, and you come, wait wait wait, and you come into a cold space. 
what happens? Your glasses fog up, no. right? <laughs> so Joshua thinks my glasses fogged up because he proposed. <laughs> no, no. no, it was hot to cold and the fog. No, let me tell you. I, go ahead, you finish? No, I'm not Go finished. ahead, go ahead. But anyways, right? So he's on his knee and I'm like, I'm like, okay, oh, he's asking me to marry him because now we're, we're broke college students, right? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, he's proposing to me, no ring, okay, uh, you know? And he pulls out a ring and I'm like, where did you get this from? Where did you, where did you get this money from to buy this ring? That's what I was thinking. I was like, he got a ring. I was like, yo. You said at first I pulled it out of my pocket and it like it was a keychain. Like, like no. <laughs> no, no, no. You had it. I had it on my pinky. No, did you? Yeah. Because you had like five boxes. Yeah, no, yeah. You I had, had a box and a box and a box. So I no, I took it. I had it on my pinky at the right before I, we went to go pray and I kept one hand in my pocket. And so, because I didn't want to drop it, and you know, I, I probably I didn't want, I didn't know if I had a hole in my pocket, so I didn't want to just leave it in there. <laughs> so uh, she said, "Broke college students," so you know. And so um, I we I, I got down, and here's the thing about the glasses. It's true when you go from one environment to the other, it does fog up. By this point, her glasses was clear. It was clear when I got down on one knee, and she saw me pull the ring out. That's when her face changed. And then everybody said, "Woo!" And then that's when her, her glasses fogged up. Like, it, it turned completely gray, you know? And now I can't see her eye. So I'm, I'm looking at foggy glasses, and I'm talking, and I can't see her eyes. Um, but I did see, you know, the tear. And I ain't uh, cry. Yeah, she did. The tough one, you know? <laughs> the tough one. And I proposed, and she said yes. And I mean, the, the fam, our family, we love our family so much. They they roared. One of the funny things to me is she has an uncle who's like Aww. a he's like a real cool cat. I'm talking about he's 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 a real cool cat. Always dressed down, fitted, clean, you know. And and the only emotion I I always see from him is him laughing at all the parties. And so I got up, I hugged Sue, and I turned. And I saw him walking away fast, and I saw this. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, Uncle so so is he's, he's crying he's to me. Crying. Yeah. Oh, crying. <laughs> you know, and oh but it was gosh. it was beautiful, you know, and I think that um again, you know, shout out to Sue's family for um they did a good job for not telling me. Yeah, that was you know, they did that and you know, to Sue's sister who shared the event her special day with us, you know, and for my family who came out and everyone who was there, it was, I think, I think overall, it, it kind was, of, yeah, it was such a, it was such a great experience. The only thing I wish was, I wish I got my hair done, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what were we thinking? Like, the little kids, 20, we were 20, we were 20, yeah, we were 20, um, cause it was the following year we got married. And so, but that was, it was, it was nice. It was a beautiful thing. I think I ate for the first time after that moment. I got to eat that whole Sunday, and then finally I was able to, but hey, you know what? I finally got an appetite, and I was able to eat some nice, good uh, Jamaican food. Sue's dad, chef, you know, he, he really threw it down. But that was, that was that. I think the car ride back up was completely different. We drove down, boyfriend and girlfriend, and we drove back up as fiancés. Fiance. 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 So, we were engaged. Engaged, yeah. Wow. All right, y'all. So that's basically our story um, about how we got engaged, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So if you are not a part of the family, subscribe. Join the Come family. Come on in. There's room for you all. Uh, man, we just, you know, again, JS for Carriage really about us just coming together and edifying yeah. each other yeah. and building each other up and having a community of people who can relate to just trying to make it in life you know whether you're single you're trying to get married and you're looking how to prepare yourself what to look for or if you're married already and you're just trying to grow stronger in your relationship yes so comment below like if you like yes. this video just give it a thumbs up um, hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever we have uh, yeah. a new video uploaded uh -huh. and check out our family vlog mm -hmm. we we ha we do vlog and we have our family fun days yes. and different things that we want to include y'all on mm -hmm. so those are a lot of fun so you can check that out mm -hmm. i'm gonna put the link up here 
and um, on the end card so you can jump right into that yeah and then also I, I want to know personally you know just you know as far as for those who, who are married now just kind of in the comment section just you know where were you guys when you made when that question was popped and how did you feel yeah so just <laughs> kind of let us know where were you when the question was popped and and just you know we, we this is these are moments we should never forget and hold on to and so <clears throat> you know we're happy that you guys joined us today and so we look for more we got some vlogs like Sue say coming your way we got some um, you know different topics hopefully that did help you um, and then we just want to hear from you guys so again you know my name is Joshua Fikir and my name is Sue Ann Fikir and we thank you for joining us on the first and always remember keep God first keep God first God bless your family y'all have a blessed week see you next Bye. week